Hey everyone, hope you're all doing all right in this bizarre time that we're living in. So many people are living in a new reality of being bound to their homes with limited physical interaction allowed. Many have even lost their work or had it severely reduced. And while these are certainly trying times, I see this as an opportunity for people to get well acquainted with that thing that so many people think they don't have. Creativity. I think that creativity is something inside all of us waiting to be tapped into. It's part of our human nature. It's in our DNA. We just have to be put into an environment that helps foster it. The house that you're in is a creative solution to sheltering you from the elements of Mother Nature. The clothing you wear is a creative solution to you adapting to different climates. The internet is a creative solution to transmitting all kinds of information further and faster. It's problem solving. There's something preventing you from doing something. Sometimes it's someone telling you you can't do something. So either through need or sheer defiance, you use your creativity to find a solution. We couldn't breathe underwater, but we used our creativity to carry air with us down below. Humans can't fly, but we used our creativity to build a giant metal flying tube that takes us from one end of the planet to the other in a relatively short time. Put some kind of obstacle in front of us, and given enough time, we'll most likely find some kind of solution to it using our creativity. Now from an artistic standpoint, creativity comes out when we're willing to put restrictions on the way we make our art. One of the most basic restrictions is don't copy, and try to create something that has never been seen before. A visual artist might restrict themselves to a single color or a specific medium, as a dancer, I might restrict which body parts I can move or specify a body part to lead my movement. I might give myself a problem like taking this thing that doesn't belong in breaking like a pro wrestling move or some movement from some other dance and making it fit within the breaking context. Sometimes that's one of the most useful ways of creating art is mashing two things together that don't typically belong together and trying to make it work. And we can even look at hip hop's origins, breaking, emceeing, DJing, graph. These are all creative responses to the problems of the time in New York. When the world looks like a war zone, you have to find new ways of bringing some kind of light into it. When you have nothing and no one knows you, you find creative ways of making everyone know your name and giving yourself some sense of fame and recognition. When you have no guitar or drums and no money for lessons, you turn something that shouldn't be an instrument into an instrument. And creativity is really just looking at something that's blocking your way and giving it the middle finger. That easy, simple path might be blocked, but if you've trained your brain to see them, there are countless paths leading around it. They might take longer and some of them might lead to dead ends, but there are almost always paths around those blocks. And this is the last point I want to make, is that creativity is a process of trying ideas, experimenting, failing, reflecting on them, and then trying again. There's no shortcut to true creativity. For every finished product you see, there are countless failed attempts that never saw the light of day. And these finished products might even themselves be something waiting to be revised and reworked in the future. We use creativity everywhere in all kinds of situations in our lives, from art to cooking to relationships to business. It's everywhere in everyone. It just needs the right conditions to flourish. As always, like, comment, and share the video. If you enjoyed it and want to keep updated on future videos, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications to stay updated. If you really enjoy what I'm doing, please consider donating to my Patreon page. Depending on the level of support, you can get perks like credit in every video that I make, help direct the content of the channel, as well as exclusive access to full interviews with other dancers and creatives that I can manage to get a hold of. I even offer online lessons, so check it out if you feel like going that extra mile for support and want to level up your dancing. Otherwise, keep enjoying the videos and stay safe out there. Peace and love to you all.